remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? If you plan on visiting a Trump property to protest, picket, or throw toilet paper, you may want to reconsider. According to the Daily Mail, Hessa Medin Ashina, one of the Iranian president's top advisors, shared a link on social media from a Forbes article highlighting all of Trump properties, including his home in Mar-a-Lago. He also dropped a few lines on Twitter where he made it very clear that his beef is with Donald Trump, your president, not the American people. Hessa Medin Ashina wrote, We have zero problems with the American people. We even achieved deals with previous U.S. administrations. Our sole problem is with Trump. In the event of war, it is he who will bear full responsibility. Ashina's comments were praised by Americans who were looking to distance themselves after Trump's decision to assassinate Iran's general, Qasem Soleimani. Ain't gonna work, family. As the U.S. president goes, the U.S. goes. If you have a foreign government who attacks a U.S. president, then there are going to be American lives lost because America has no choice but to hit back. They got to hit back to save face. Even if it meant a million Americans had to die, they got to hit back. Plus, it's just more money, more money, more money. You know, war, more war, more war, more war, more money, more money, more money. So they'll get rich. Everybody won't die, but they'll sacrifice a few million if they can make a few billion. So What's ironic is that you do have a number of Americans who love war. I mean, they absolutely love war. I mean, they're not going to do no fighting, but they like the idea of bullying, you know? They love that idea of bullying. Oh, America, yeah, you can't mess with us. We big, we bad. Right or wrong, they're going to ride with America no matter what. They love that bullying. So they love to see the fight. They love that war. So, and, and they're probably going to get it this round. I'm, all, I'm, I'm certain that they'll get what they want this round. But again, they're not going to do the fighting. The people that scream war the most are the ones who fight the least. You know? It's always the ones who ain't going to lift a finger talking about war. Let's go to war. War, war, war. You know? Remind me of the little dude in the neighborhood. He couldn't fight, but boy, he knew how to stir up the fights. If Iran were to target Trump's properties, they may just be doing him a favor because he has a lot of failing businesses. So I'm sure that if they were to destroy those businesses, those properties, Trump would just collect the insurance money. I mean, yeah, you know, you'll have some residents who will die and visitors who will die, but Trump ain't concerned about that. I can guarantee you he ain't concerned about that. If Trump could sacrifice a few thousand Americans who were at his properties and they all got hit simultaneously, man, that dude would not care. He would not shed a tear. I promise you. If he can collect that money, he going to get paid. Because that's all he is really about. I do like the tenacity of the Iranians. They're not a bunch of empty threats. It's not like North Korea. You know, North Korea does a lot of posturing. And a lot of it has to do with their relationship with China. You know, China say, go get them, boy. And North Korea go jump out there and do something. And then America say, hey, hey, hey. And then North Korea back up. And then but China all the while sitting back like, yeah, you better not touch him. And get on back out there. You better not touch him. Now, okay, now listen. All right, all right North Korea, don't go too far now. All right, you go too far now. But 
you better not touch them, U.S. That's how it works. They're not going to do anything to North Korea because they know China coming with it. If Iran were allies with China, they wouldn't touch Iran. They wouldn't have touched that general because they know it would have kicked off right then and there. I do like the spirit of the Iranian people. They are not going to take it lying down. Unfortunately, if you are an American, if any part of America gets hit, you got to take the hit too. This is why it's important to choose your leadership very carefully. Starting to like the Iranian people. Yeah. Starting to like them. No more talk. What the haters talking about?